Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own add-on for WPL Import. So WPL Import add-ons are just WordPress plugins, so we're going to go to our Plugins folder and create a new plugin. So I'll call this one My Example Add-on, and uh, then we'll go to uh, Sublime Text and start coding the plugin. Okay, we'll save the plugin file. And now I'm just going to copy and paste in our plugin header so I don't have to type this manually. So I'll call this my example add on. Okay, and the first thing you do when creating an add on is include the rapid add on.php file. That includes the rapid add on API. So we go include rapid add-on.php and we also need to actually obtain this file it's on github the link is on the add-on developers section of the documentation or at github.com slash sofly and uh, I'll download rapid add-on Here we go, and I'll copy that, and I will put it in my plugins folder. Awesome, so now that includes gonna work. Uh, now it's time to start creating the structure of our add-on. So what we do is my example add-on equals new rapid add-on, and we'll pass the name to the add-on, which is gonna be my example add-on. This is gonna be the name of it as it shows up in WPL import, and a slug for the add-on. And that's how we initialize an add-on. Uh, next thing we'll do is we'll add a field to the add-on. So we go my example add-on, add field, and the add field function is described in our documentation. We're gonna add a text field. So we're going to pass a field slug, a field name, and the field type. And this is what a text field is gonna look like. And now we're going to run our add-on. And it is as simple as that. Um, now this add-on won't actually import anything. It will just add a box to the WPL import user interface. So let's go ahead and run our add-on. So first we have to activate the uh, plugin. And now we need WPL import installed. Add-ons work with both the paid and free versions of WPL import. So I'm gonna install the free version right now. We go to plugins, add new, type in WPL import. Click install now. And here we go, WPL imports now installed. Now we'll go new import. Continue to step two. Continue to step three, this is where add-ons show up. And here's our add-on, my example add-on with one text field. So this won't import any data yet. So to actually make it import data, we have to write an import function. So to do that, uh, we use the set import function function. So we'll do that over here. We'll go to add-on structure. And here's how to do that. We use set import function and then the name of our function. Then we'll actually, and we have to do this before the run call. The run call always comes last. Then we'll actually write the function. Function, my, my example, add on, import. And this function takes three arguments. Uh, it takes the post ID that's being imported to, the data to import to that post, and the import options. 
the import options are all the things that you might have set here, here, um, here, everything else. So most of the time you won't need those. So now every time WPL import creates post, it's going to call this function. It's going to pass the post ID of the created post and your add-ons data to import to that post. So let's say I want to import the value of this field right here to a custom field. What I would do is I'd use update post meta, uh, and then I'd enter in the name of the meta field we want to update. So I'm just going to call it my field. And then I'm going to enter in the, or sorry, you put the post ID first. So update post meta, post ID, my field. And then the value is going to be contained in the data array, which is passed to the function. And the array key is going to be the name of the field. So that's it. This is, this is a very basic add-on now. It will show this field and import the data to the post. So let's do a new import and actually test that out. Okay, we're going to import the Facebook image URL to uh, that custom field we just specified when we wrote the add-on. Continue to step four, continue, and run the import. And now let's go over to posts. Let's take a look at these created posts. And here's our custom field, my field with the value uh, of the FB image column from our CSV file. So that's how easy it is to create a basic add-on. Now let's make it a little bit more advanced. So let's say we wanted to make an add-on to import to WordPress SEO by Yoast. Let's say we want to import the SEO title, the meta description, uh, whether or not the robot should index the post or no index, and the Facebook image. And this means we actually have to upload an image, put it in the media library, um, all that stuff. So let's modify our add-on to import to Yoast SEO. So the first two fields are simple. They're just text fields, SEO title, and SEO description. So that's easy. And then the next field is uh, going to be a radio field. Meta robots index and the choices for that were index, no index, or default. Now I know how Yoast SEO works internally. Uh, the value that it should be for the default is blank. It should be one for no index and it should be two for index. So blank is default. This array just contains the options for the radio field. One did we say was no index? One is no index. And two is index. So let's take a look at step three of WPL import and see what that looks like. Okay, here's our radio field. And we have mapping options too. We can map no index to, I think it was two. Yeah, it's no index is, or sorry, no index is one, index is two, and uh, default is blank. So we'll save those mapping rules. And uh, running our import now won't actually do anything because we haven't written the code to import uh, this field. Oh, also, I accidentally used the same field name as the description, so we better fix that. Um, SEO robots. And then lastly, let's add an image field. So we'll go SEO image.
and let's refresh and see how this looks. Okay, looks great. We got our title, description, meta robots index, and our image field where we could download an image hosted elsewhere or use one that we've already uploaded to this folder. Okay, now let's code the actual uh, import function that's gonna put this data into Yoast SEO. So the first field, uh, it's stored in the post meta table as Yoast uh, SEO title. So we'll set this to the SEO title. For the description, just copy and paste. And for the image, it's a little more complicated. So we're going to get the WPL imports going to uh, either download the image or move the image out of this folder into the media library. And then it's going to give the image ID, the attachment ID to our add-on. So the image ID is going to be stored in data and then the name of the image field and then attachment ID. And now Yoast SEO wants the image URL to be stored in this field. So we need to get the image URL based on the attachment ID. So we use the WordPress function WP get attachment URL. And that will return the image URL. And now it's as simple as just putting the image URL in this custom field. That's it. So now we're going to do a new import and see if this all works. Well, first I'll delete the old import. And now we'll do the new import. Okay, let's run the import and then take a look at what happens. Two posts created, we'll go over to posts. Let's take a look at one of these posts. Here we go, it's imported the SEO title, the meta description, index, and the Facebook image. So it really is that simple, that is how you create uh, WPL import add-on using our rapid add-on API. We've got a bunch of documentation right here. If you go to our site, go to user guide, and then go to the add-on developer section at the bottom. We have best practices, uh, an example complete add-on, which you can download off GitHub. And we also have an example add-on on GitHub over here at WPL import example add-on, which you can also download and install and see a complete add-on in action. Okay, thanks for watching, happy developing, and if you have any questions on development, uh, feel free to email our support email address and we'll help you out.